Well, it's almost de rigueur if you are male and are a fan of silver chair books that you're going to be a, a pipe smoker. So I thought I would put together a little video introducing you to the how to get, well how to get started smoking a pipe and to the art of, of packing a pipe. Um, walk into your local tobacconist uh, and make sure that it's not one of those you know cigarette uh, bargain places that has a couple of extra pipes lying around. Uh, but when you do walk into your tobacconist, go straight to the bargain basket. If you're buying your first pipe, you do not want to buy something expensive. Um, just go ahead and spend yourself $25, $30 if you can uh, to get yourself a, a, a decent but inexpensive pipe. There are basically two ways you could go. You go with a straight stem like this, or what I prefer, uh, a curved stem. Um, really, there's, there's no big difference between them. It's really a matter of preference. Um, it's easier to keep the drool out of your mouth when you use the, uh, the bend stem, uh, but it does require, I think, a, a little more cleaning. It's also easier to hold. Uh, I like how the bent stems kind of can sit on my bearded chin. Uh, either way, uh, they're uh, they, uh, fine smoke uh, for e e either either choice you make. Um, make sure also that uh, you pick up a pipe tool. These little check doodads uh, will just uh, cost you a few dollars, and they come with uh, with the tamper, something to clean out the pipe with, and a, a clearing tool, a cleaning tool. Also pick up. Uh, pipe cleaners. My wife didn't know until well into her full adulthood that pipe cleaners were for cleaning pipes. Anyway, after you've chosen uh, your pipe, whether uh, straight or uh, or bent stemmed, um, pick a tobacco. Something aromatic is nice for a beginner. Um, I like a black Cavendish a lot, uh, but I've uh, I've been tending towards smoking English tobaccos a lot more. Uh, those really are have very few additives or, or no additives usually. And they smoke much more pungently. Uh, they're delicious, but I wouldn't actually recommend them for a beginner. So go ahead and grab yourself a Cavendish or um, you know something mildly aromatic. I'm not a fan of, of the whiskey and rum-based ones, but, but they can be nice. This pipe was actually made uh, by a friend of mine. It is made with an unorthodox uh, Brazilian cherry instead of uh, your uh, briar from Europe. Um, it burns a little hot. Uh, but I've actually been a huge fan of it. It's been darkening over the months. I'm going to use this pipe uh, to show you how to how to pack pipe. By the way, I uh, I like having a, a pipe pouch. Um, uh, one choice is to get yourself a waterproof container like this, a waterproof pouch like this, um, as your tobacconist, or you can pick up something like this. There's a a, sl a slot for the tobacco on top on the bottom you can put a pipe in here along with your tool and uh, matches and lighter. Uh, this is very convenient. I actually keep this in my pocket. You can see the uh, the fraying where I occasionally sit <laughs> with this pouch. Stick it out of my pocket a little. Anyway, um, get yourself some tobacco. Whether it's in a Ziploc bag that you got from the tobacconist or in, in one of your pouches, or if it's in an airtight jar. Um, Want to get yourself a little bit of an opening and basically just use the pipe to scoop a little out. You can use your fingers to, to slip some of it in there and just basically shake it in. The, uh, the way the masters who taught me told me to pack a pipe. Um, by the way, this pipe tool is attached to Optimus Prime in case you're wondering what this freaky little dangly is. Um, take your pipe tool and tamp the first time very gently. As, as Tamp as hard as you would squeeze a child's hand. We're going to go ahead and repeat the process of scooping a little out. Use your finger to make sure you get plenty of tobacco in there. And basically each time you're topping off without squeezing down, let it settle into the bowl and then tamp again. This time as I was taught by my forefathers, tamp as if you were squeezing a woman's hand. And then we're going to do this one more time. Scooping a little more in. Won't take quite as much this time because the bowl is filling up. And lastly, we are going to tamp as if we were squeezing a man's hand. So, very gently, gently, 
firmly, but not super hard. Make sure that you have a smooth draw before you light. And when you light, make sure you use matches, not this lighter. I, uh, I admit that I cheat. I, I smoke um, often. Uh, I carry my pouch about with me. I work in an office where I can smoke. Um, so I cheat and use the lighter, but you want to use matches. Uh, you ready to light up? Make sure you've got a nice even burn. You want the cherry, you want the cherry to start burying itself in the tobacco a little. Occasionally you'll find that you want to neaten up. After your initial light, make sure when you do that that you're still puffing. Well, that really does it. Um, once, twice, three times a lady, and you're ready to smoke. Enjoy.